Welcome back to the show, everybody. We got a good one for you today. The cryptocurrency space is on the move and XRP is running out front. We're going to talk about Vetcoin hit a new all-time high. We got the Bank of Japan kicking off CBDCs. We'll talk about what phase that's in. Grayscale is awaiting some regulatory approval, which I think will help open the door even more for crypto adoption and investment. And Russia moving away from SWIFT. Well, get this. We're going to talk about XRP price on the move and the next price targets that will be coming up in the long-term predictions, $125, $700, $8,500, and $12,200. And this is coming from a, a crypto analyst that has made the call on the price move that happened today. Let's roll that beautiful intro. Here we go. This is Digital Perspectives with Brad Kimes. Subscribe for new content notifications. Now, here's Brad Kimes. Come on in. Welcome back to the show. You can follow me on Twitter at BackupBradleyAbove at the top of the screen and everything that we're talking about here today. Let's get into it. We're talking about 1.960. 1.960 trillion for the cryptocurrency market cap collectively. We're looking at a trillion dollars just over for Bitcoin at $58,844. Coming down here to XRP at the number seven spot, courtesy of the dereliction of duty of the SEC. We are looking at a 71 cent XRP right now, up 18% on the 24 hour, 26.26% on the seven day, 0.7152 is your number. Let's get started started into the news we have a lot to unpack it's a new all-time high for vetcoin 11 cents right there from digital assets daily thank you for that and i have to say you guys know if you've been on the channel for following the channel or with the channel a long time now you know that i'm a holder of vet i love vet and i'm excited and i hope it keeps on cranking all right now let's get a look at this ecomi which has the licensing for warner brothers and so many other things with nfts non-fungible tokens uh it's a double drop kind of week they say wait a minute doc are you telling me you built a time machine out of the delorean and then they're showing you the back to the future and everything that they uh, are working on already. The NFTs are a huge interest to me. I absolutely love them. I think they're going to be enormous. There's so many aspects that uh, are beneficial, I think, to the internet. And it's really bringing back the intellectual property and the ownership of that intellectual property to the internet. Very excited for collectors of memorabilia as you see here and then i'm very excited for songwriters and artists alike who can now make sure they create an nft of their music or their art and be able to track its value on the blockchain so really really great stuff coming up with that and i think we're going to do a series or two uh or a video or two may become a series of a couple videos um with uh xrp attorney seal and maybe a couple others that are really big in the nfts as i am too so we'll get into more of that as well all right looking at this here from grayscale is awaiting regulatory approval to convert its bitcoin trust into an etf an exchange traded fund now listen ETFs have been very difficult to get approved here in the United States. Van Eck, who actually specializes in launching products like ETFs, has had uh, been turned down at least two or three times, I'm sure. And then uh, several other entities that have come out and tried to get ETFs. Now, we've seen three or four ETFs launched in Canada. So it's exciting to think that we may see not too distant future here an approval for an ETF. So we'll keep an eye on that as well. It's just going to mean more money coming into the investment space is what it's going to mean so we will keep an eye on that this is the bank of japan on monday kicked off the first phase of experimenting with a central bank digital currency uh you know this to me is very exciting because as you know i've i've said this a lot and i'm gonna say it again right now I believe what will become the new digital asset space with a unified framework will include on and off ramps with digital dollars from government money. 
I believe this is just as fine an example as you could see out here in the space today, because the reality is that is what it's going to be. Don't believe it. It's still true. Look, the libertarian in me screams, no, no, you know, why can't we all just have anti-government money and all of these things? And the idea of that's really beautiful. But at the end of the day, at being 50 later this month, I have to say, you know, I just don't see it happening any other way. Remember, we have a uh, side note. We have a hearing tomorrow with Ripple and SEC. It is a telephonic hearing. I will be uh tuning into that and i will bring you all the notes i can't record it because it's against the, the law you're not allowed to so i won't be doing that and it could put you in violation with the court i do not want to do that so but i will be tuning into it and i will bring you all the details that i can find from it no doubt about that the other thing is is that we're i think scheduled april 12th is the next point after tomorrow's hearing that we want to pay attention for gary gensler to be confirmed i would imagine that he will be confirmed because two days after that on the 14th of april we're going to see the direct listing of coinbase and what a historic day that will be because that is the like poster child for IPOs in the blockchain crypto space. And I believe that will begin to open a floodgate full of IPOs for companies in this space. And it is going to be extremely exciting with the amount of attention and investors institutional level that will begin to take this space seriously as we are fastly approaching $2 trillion as a collective cryptocurrency market cap. So We'll definitely be watching that. Now, let's change gears here because this is a serious note, and we want to pay very close attention to what's going on here. Remember, Russia, who is a part of the BRICS coalition, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, for which, if you have not seen the video for this morning, Mercury FX, the Ripple partner, will be using XRP in a regulatory sandbox in South Africa to be able to do settlement and remittances to test for about six months, they say. And remember, that's another part of the BRICS coalition testing through the remittance market of of Mercury FX, the use and settlement of XRP, the asset. Went over that in the morning video. Make sure you watch that. Here's some news here that says Russia's foreign affairs minister said it believes SWIFT, the payments uh, wiring system, can be replaced by more advanced systems mentioning blockchain. Well, I went into the article and I did not see anything that said Ripple or anything that said XRP. But we certainly know from Brad Garlinghouse that they are dismantling SWIFT piece by piece because that is exactly what Ripple, RippleNet, and the use of the XRP ledger and the XRP asset are designed to do is to be a faster, better solution for instant payments and instant settlement, right? So we'll keep an eye on that. But the comments here we want to hold on to are this. The statement comes after the country's authorities voiced concerns recently that Western countries might cut Russia off from SWIFT. In late March, the press secretary of Russia, President Vladimir Putin, said that the Kremlin cannot rule out that threat. Fears of Russia getting cut off from SWIFT have been voiced over and over in Russia's ruling circles after the country got sanctioned in 2014 under the Obama administration for annexing Crimea, 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 Peninsula, excuse me. Back then, the first round of sanctions prompted the creation of national payment system that would be working even with SWIFT was no longer available to Russia. So because of that action that was taken from the Obama administration when they chose to invade Crimea and take that peninsula because it was an important um, uh, shipping port, now we see this. Under this administration, it looks like Putin's very comfortable under these different administrations making moves like this because Putin is about to launch a new offensive in Ukraine. That's what people are asking the question about right now. Russia has sparked alarm in Ukraine and throughout the international community in recent days by massing its armed forces close to the Ukraine border. This is exactly the same type of move that we saw when it was uh, Crimea back in 2014. So head on a swivel. All right. So that's what's going on globally. So now let's get down to price because this will be a little more fun. So we're seeing 69.52 here on XRP. And we're going to take a look at a couple of uh, uh, different charts that are put up by Dark Defender, who, by the way, 
called every single bit of what we're looking at today. So the important thing to know is I said, you know, we needed to get above that 57 cent on the bottom side of that range. And I really think we're there now. We'll have to see if it holds, obviously. But the fact that we're ranging even above 57 cent and we are now holding above the 67 cent mark, this is really proven really extremely bullish for us to talk about potentially getting to the next stage, which could be breaking 80 cents like Crypto Bull 2020 has said, who was another person out here who also told us to really, really pay attention because the moment that we're in was coming and Crypto Bull 2020 was another one that called that moment just as well as Dark Defender. Dark Defender tells us now to be paired, uh, be prepared for the next target coming. Uh, XRP touch 72 cents. She'll try again to break it soon. And the next targets will be revealed. And let's see this right here because this is telling us to watch out because if we hit that target as they expected, the next places to look at, and of course we have support at 59, 53 cents we just talked about, and the bottom of that range that we talked about is at 59 cents. So we got support there, right? That's what it looks like so far. So let's go ahead and get back to this. The next price targets they're looking at in the near term, right? In the month of April here, we're looking at, right? In this time frame here, we're still in the month of April here. A dollar thirteen, dollar thirty-three, and two dollars and seventy-two cents. How about them apples? Well, it gets better, ladies and gentlemen. It gets better because guess what else we're looking at long term here? And this is from Dark Defender again. And look at this. This is where we are, right? Back here, right? Or 2019, 2021. So here we go. All right. So looking at this, July here, 2021 starts right here, and we're into the first of the year. Now we're looking at the next one, second quarter 2021, potentially a 16 pound, which would be a $20 XRP here. How about that? And that could come sooner than you think, because that looks a little bit like before July. So maybe between May and, and July sometime or May and June, we could be looking at a $20 XRP. Just know that these are in pounds and I'm doing the conversion. They were kind enough to do that in the top left here. Then we're looking at just around 2022, date of the analysis, February 2021, 25th of 21. Uh, we're looking here at 2022. We could be staring down the barrel of third quarter 2021, they're saying. So later this year, we could be looking at a $125 XRP. Now, look, I'm not saying that they're going to be right. But I think the fact that they're right about what's going on today means we better sit up get your feet off the table, and start looking at what they're saying. There's a reason why I started sharing so much TA, because these technical analysts have all started to align. All of them, they're, they're hitting very close to one another here. So I think this deserves a very serious look. All right, so now looking here, after we get a $125 XRP potentially in the third quarter later this year, we could see then in the first quarter of 2023 a $700 XRP, 550 pounds. What do you think about them apples? Man, that to me is extremely exciting. And then they're calling even further if they follow the chart and what they're using here. Blue is the historical pattern. Red is the Fibonacci zones linked with red colors. And it shows you the swoop of these zones inside the channel, right? You can see these red lines here. It's just in that channel and it's rolling. And if we look at it, it really falls in line. Second quarter of 2025, we could be looking at a 7,000 pound XRP, which would be $8,500 in the second quarter of 2025. I have no problem with that whatsoever. And fourth quarter, 2026 Fibonacci time zone here, we could be looking in excess of 10,000 pound XRP or $12,200. And remember, we're seeing more use case pour in behind the asset. I don't believe for a second that the 70 some cents we're looking at today is all retail. 
I believe it's institutional buying, and I believe a lot of the customers and partners on the other side of the pond of the U.S. are not bound by the lawsuit and have to pay attention to any of it. Most of all the other countries have ruled that XRP is something they could use, and maybe just maybe what we're seeing at 70 some cents is a bit of use case utility support and price. Now, the thing that will tell us if that's the truth or not is if the price remains up, right? And it can pull back and everything breathes. We know prices go up and prices come back. It's very normal for the market to breathe. There's no doubt about that. But what I'm saying is, if we don't return to the 30 cents, if we don't return to the 20 cents, if we don't return back to 50 cents and and break that support from uh, 59, 54 cents, whatever it was there, if we don't go back below those things, then I have to really believe that there's some use case utility that's helping this price remain constant and to hold where it is because we don't want this asset to be just speculative because when it is it rings in right about 25 to 30 cents because we've been doing that for years so this to me is extremely exciting i want to thank crypto bull 2020 i want to thank crypto wizard i want to thank dark defender i want to thank crypto toes and and the rest of the uh technical analysts if i missed any out here i'm very grateful for you guys and i tell you something This is exciting to me because they've gotten today right. So I don't know why I take take it off the table that they might have tomorrow right too. That's going to do it for me. Bring on a $10,000 XRP. Hit the like and subscribe. Leave a comment below. Make sure you share with somebody you know and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Make sure you check out all the links in the description box and the comment section. By the way, I trust capital. It is the best crypto IRA on the planet, bar none. Gold, silver, and crypto. Make sure you check them out. And all the other links in the description box, they are vetted, trusted links. I'll catch you on the next one.